Hi everyone, this is a Magon Rush, your Garage Kit Nerd, and for this video I'm going to present you my work on Super Seller Mars from E2046. Huh, Seller Mars. I don't think I liked her that much in the anime. She had a too strong character for me, very passionate and stubborn, the complete opposite of the people I was talking to at that time. But I have to admit she was a badass and I liked she was a priest in a temple. It brought her a mystical side that I could just only respect. So, as you can see I am continuing my Sailor Moon 30th anniversary theme with Super Sailor Mars and her legendary flame sniper. I am not letting you wait more. Allez, let's start. This is not our first rodeo here, so I am not gonna talk much for this part. You already know what is happening. This is a simple check of all pieces. I have to say one thing though. I was such in a hurry when I did this part. I just misplaced her earrings. I thought it was her star-shaped necklace. It is fine, I will put other earrings at the end, but damn, I was so pissed at me for going so fast. You can see that Mars has a lot of pieces for her hair. I was wondering how I could work with it. Should I let all the pieces separated or should I go with one single block? At the end, I decided to go with only one block even if painting will require more attention. And I can tell you, it will be a nightmare. But I prefer to have the hair not having any gaps or weird lines at the end. Now that I checked all the pieces and look what magnets or brass rods I will use, it is painting time. Remember the steps. First, I drill the piece where I will insert my magnets or brass rod. Then, I put some masking sole or sticky tack on the other connected parts to know where I need to drill and have a perfect connection between the two pieces. And to finish, I insert the magnets or the brass rods. And voila! My first part is done, I just need to do the rest now. For this kit, I tried to put a maximum of magnets. I wanted to see how it looks at the ends. I usually use magnets for pieces I don't want to glue or faces or hands that can be changed. And I use brass rods for the pieces that I want to glue. Here, of course, this is not an exact science and I sometimes end up gluing the magnets together as I found the connection too fragile. And you know what, for Mars, this is exactly what happened. I ended up gluing all the pieces.
you have seen at the beginning that Mars has a very big piece of hair and actually it is also quite heavy. So for the connection with the head, I didn't put only two magnets but four. When I do this, I make sure the poles of the magnets are different. It is maybe just in my hands, but I believe it helps to have a stronger connection. But then you need to be extra careful because you can mix the poles and end up like me having to remove one of the magnets after gluing it. The pole was wrong and the pieces were not able to connect. Yeah, I think you know me by now. I'm clumsy. <laughs> anyway. I am very happy with this series of resin kits. There is not too much work with the putty. Of course, there are some gaps, but it is very minor. It is always great to not have a lot of preparation to do. It reduces your time sending, and you know how much I don't like this. The only complicated part here was with the hair, as I decided to put everything together. I needed to be very careful to not put putty everywhere, and my toothpick was very handy. Somehow, I didn't mind to work on the sanding for this figure. Maybe because I knew there won't be too much to do. The hair, of course, will be a big piece, but the rest seems relatively easy. I decided to go first with the hair, as this is the most demanding. I always prefer doing complicated pieces first. This is where I have the highest level of energy and courage. Otherwise, I know that I will try to go too fast and... You know what it means, I will make something not good enough for my taste. For the big piece of hair, I told you I decided to go with one simple piece and glue everything together. It is simpler for me. You will find on other videos people painting first the pieces before merging them together. So listen to me here. I don't say they are wrong. I think in certain moments you can't do otherwise. Like for example, if you want to merge all the hair together. For this, you will have to merge after painting the pieces because you have the head and the head is stuck between the two pieces. But here, this is only hair and nothing will be stuck. It might make the painting a bit more difficult, but not impossible. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,
when I was sending, I noticed the skirt has some issue in its form. I don't know if it was me when I removed the tab or if this was here before, but I couldn't let it like this. So I took my Dremel, I drilled a tiny part and put some UV light curing. When you have some imperfection like that one, it is quite fast to go with the curing light putty. It took few seconds to harden with the UV light and you don't have to wait to send. Oopsie. This is now the back ribbon to have an issue. I broke it into two pieces. Uh... <sighs> no panic. Everything is fine. A broken piece can be repaired easily. I just have to put a brass rod and some putty. And with some nice sanding, it will look like new. Now that I am done with sanding, it is priming time. I am finally going to see all these little imperfections I have missed. Missing things is completely normal and this is not the end. You can't see everything. For sure, it can be a little bit overwhelming when your sanding was not strong enough and you see there is still a lot of work to do. But again, not the end. And you might have seen people priming with a gray color in other videos. Here, there is no wrong or right. Usually, gray primer is when you want to have a darker base to work on. If you haven't seen my pen testing, go have a look. But after finishing this video, okay, you'll understand the base has a very strong influence on the top layer color. For the hair, yes, I should have used a gray primer, but I was a bit lazy and kept it white. Mm, I will put more layers of black and it will be fine. Now that I am done reviewing the pieces, I can finally put a last coat of primer and start painting. Ah, finally my favorite part, the moments where I paint. Or should I say wear a mask? Yeah, there is no painting without masking. I tend to prepare my small pieces of masking tape before I start painting. This way, I don't waste too much time after cutting the masking tape. Everything is prepared. 
Before I cut those amazing plates, I spent so much time on the masking, especially when I needed specific shape. I was just cutting small squares of masking tape and used it for all of the shape possible. Circles, triangles, etc, etc. But now, I just have to use those plates and they have all the shapes, so I am even faster in the masking. I usually start with the skin color. This is kind of my garage kit nerd ritual, my little OCD. And you know what? I think I wouldn't be comfortable starting with something different now. I am sure it will mess with me and ruin the kit. As I explained in my previous video, Supercellar Venus, for this series I will use model colors ProMix 3 steps, Flash Shadow Orange, Bright Flash and Flash Effect. I want to have a consistency in those 5 resin kits. to say I didn't handle <laughs> it very well. When I have pieces I can't secure with my crocodile clip, I just drill and put a road. This way I can manipulate the part without touching the piece with my hands and ruin the painting. Here I have done exactly the same thing, but for some reasons the road was loose. It means the hair was going everywhere and some time felt. Like right now. No. And I can tell you it happened a lot. For that particular moment, I was quite lucky the paint was not damaged. But it was not the same all the time. I had to redo the hair two times because of this f***ing loose road. And before starting the rest, I prepare some more masking. I realized I didn't have enough. For the tiny straps, like on cellar scarves, I usually use a hand brush and patiently paint manually. But I don't think this is the best way of painting. It requires a lot of time and it is not 100% clean. So for Mars, I decided to try masking it and keep the primer for the white. Let's see how it goes. For red shading, people tend to recommend to go with purple. They say it gives better highlights. To be honest, I don't really like the finish and I prefer to go with the more Bordeaux color. You need to be very careful though and not put a lot of red coat on top, otherwise the shading will disappear. But at the end, I really think it gives a more realistic nuance.
Okay, let's see how the masking worked for the stripes. <laughs> a pure fell. <laughs> let's use my hand brush again for this one. And now let's reprime, reshade, and recolor the scarf. so much what I have done with Venus hair that I decided I will do the same for all the senshis. Mars has purple reflection in the anime, so I went with Mr. Clear color Amethyst Purple and look at this beautiful color. To keep a consistency with Supercell of Venus, I decided to do the same effect on Mars' heart. I put a first layer of black, then silver, then gold, and to finish, SMS Pearl Cherry Red. And this to make the aspect of a jewel. Pastel, my pastel, what would I do without you? You who give such a nice depth to the color by giving some new reflection and also helping to correct mistakes. Lowering the unexpected chance Somehow I got stuck in all this mess you're in What you are thinking right now. He said earlier he didn't want to use purple for the shading of the red, but he's using purple with a pastel. You are very correct. 
but pastel is not the basic shading and it doesn't cover what you have done before. Here I am just giving some few reflections of purple, nothing else. It is very different. And after being done with the pastel, I continue my painting by giving a more shiny aspect to the gloves and chest of Mars. For that, I use white pearl lacquer from Tamiya. Before finishing Mars, I am taking a break and work on her bow, arrow and flames. I wanted to give a clear difference between her magical attack and the flames she has on her feet. For me, the two are really different, so the aspect needs to be very different. I will do the same as I did for Venus's hearts and use the SMS pearls. Oh damn, I love those pearls. I am doing a series of videos and already reviewed 14 colors and there is more to come. Anyway, I started the bow and the arrow with clear yellow and red coats to have some color base before applying golden orange and cherry red. It will still reproduce some flame effects but it will give a more magical energy aspect. I know I am not yet the best of painting the eyes, but I think I'm getting better and better each time I work on a new kit. And I start having nicer and thinner handbrushes that allows me to provide more details. As usual, I start with the white of the eye, the black, then fill with shades of purple from the darkest to the lightest, and finish with the white mimicking the reflection of the light.
what would be a garage kit without a stand, even a very simple one, you would ask me. I know, it wouldn't be something finished. So I will do a very simple one. It will be round with a black base and some cherry red from SMS Pearl to give a bit more peps to it. This is the end for today's video. I hope you enjoy seeing me working on Super Solo Mars. As you saw in the final results, I have replaced the hearings with the 5 branches star. I know this is not the normal hearings for Mars, as it should be a 6 branches. As I explained at the beginning of the video, I threw them into the bin, but I am still looking for finding a better replacement. And you, what do you think of those hearings? Is it madness just to think of replacing them by cheap stuff? Or is it okay because it gives a nice finish? Don't hesitate to let me know and comment. I will be very happy to answer all the questions and comments, of course. By commenting, you will help my video to be more visible on the YouTube suggestions. And remember, the more I am visible, the more content I will be able to produce. If you enjoyed this video, take a few seconds to like, subscribe to my channel and click on this little bell to be informed when new videos arrive. You can find me on Instagram and TikTok to follow my progress. I have also opened recently a Patreon page where with a subscription, you will have access to dedicated content, photos, videos, tutorials and more. So go there and have a look. By the way, I am not sure you are aware, but I am not going to keep the Sailor Moon kit. My place is way too small to have all of those. The 5 kits will be for sale after I finish the series. By then, all the small issues and imperfections I spotted will be corrected, don't worry. The next Senshi video I will edit will be Super Sailor Jupiter. I am currently finishing her while I am editing this video. Thank you very much for watching Supercellar Mars. See you next time. And in the meantime, pin, send and paint as much as you can. This was a Magon Rush, your garage kit nerd. Mm -hmm.